Our bodies are made up of nearly 60 trillion cells. In each of these cells, numerous biomolecular entities communicate with each other through a complex network of information as they work together in a coordinated and programmed manner to maintain life. Rekin Omics Science Center seeks to uncover programs like these that govern the fundamental workings of life. By doing so, we aim to deepen our knowledge so as to advance human health and safety. The central dogma of molecular biology describes the informational flow that is most fundamental to all biological programs. From DNA to proteins, it is amazing to see how molecular machines work together inside our bodies to retrieve genetic information from the cellular nucleus and transform it exactly as programmed into proteins essential for life. Let's take a trip to explore this central dogma. We are now inside one of the human body's many blood vessels. Coming toward us is a lymphocyte, one of the many cells in our bodies. It has a diameter of about 10 micrometers, only a fraction of the diameter of a human hair. Inside the lymphocyte, we can see various cellular organelles. The mitochondria are powerhouses that generate energy so that cells can function. The stack of discs is an organelle called the Golgi apparatus, where newly synthesized proteins are processed. Across from the Golgi apparatus is a star-like array of microtubules emanating from the centrosome. Microtubules are the major component of the cytoskeleton. In front of us is the cell nucleus. The nuclear envelope has many perforations called nuclear pores. We'll enter the nucleus through one such pore. This is DNA inside the nucleus. DNA is usually wrapped around proteins and folded into a coil-like structure called chromatin. Here, part of the chromatin has loosened, exposing the DNA double helix. Four bases, C, T, A, and G, are lined up along the long chain of DNA. It is the sequence of these four bases that carries the information for coding life. Protein synthesis starts at the flickering points on the DNA. These are the footholds where the deciphering of DNA begins. Transcription factors have arrived and docked on the footholds. The transcription factors are protein molecules that help to copy the information contained in the DNA. Approaching from the right-hand side is an RNA polymerase, a large multi-protein complex that plays an essential role in transferring information from DNA to RNA. Transcription factors direct the RNA polymerase to dock with the target DNA.
Another set of transcription factors joins and unfolds the DNA strands. The transcription factors leave as they finish their work. Now, the DNA's information is ready to be copied. Nucleotides, the building blocks of RNA, are being incorporated into the RNA polymerase. Inside the RNA polymerase, the DNA information is copied, one block at a time, onto the RNA in a process called transcription. Transcribed RNA undergoes various processing steps. First, one end of the RNA is capped with a hat-like structure. Information that has been newly transcribed from DNA to RNA contains unnecessary regions that do not encode information for protein synthesis. A splicing process removes these unwanted sequences and joins the necessary parts of the RNA. After transcription and splicing, the RNA chain leaves the RNA polymerase. The other end of the RNA obtains a string-like structure called a poly-A tail. 
Such molecular marks protect the completed RNA molecule from accidental degradation. Processed RNA is called messenger RNA because it transports a blueprint for a protein product out of the nucleus. The messenger RNA will exit the nucleus through a nuclear pore. The messenger RNA has exited through the nuclear pore. The blueprint for protein synthesis on the messenger RNA is made up of a series of three base codes, or nucleotide triplets. This nucleotide triplet is called a codon. Each codon specifies a particular amino acid, the building blocks of proteins. The blueprint information from DNA is copied to the messenger RNA in the sequence of amino acids. As a preparatory step for protein synthesis, the messenger RNA forms a ring linking its cap and tail together. Some parts of a ribosome have just arrived. The ribosome is an important molecular machine that deciphers the information on messenger RNA and synthesizes proteins from amino acids exactly as planned. The ribosomal parts are scanning the messenger RNA to find a starting codon. Now the entire ribosome complex has been assembled and starts to read codons. Strands of transfer RNA are incorporated, one after another, into the ribosome. Transfer RNA moves amino acids to the ribosomal site of protein synthesis. There are 20 amino acids that make up proteins. Each amino acid is carried by a specific transfer RNA. Each transfer RNA contains a three-base sequence, the anticodon, that corresponds to the carried amino acid. When the anticodon of the transfer RNA correctly matches a codon on the messenger RNA, the transferred amino acid remains at the site. In this manner, Incoming amino acids are linked together one by one to the carried amino acid. At the end of decoding, the ribosome is disassembled. The synthesized protein chain is folded into a three-dimensional conformation and transported to its destination inside the body. This process whereby codons on messenger RNA are decoded into a sequence of amino acids to produce a protein is called translation.
After the synthesis of a certain number of proteins, the messenger RNA ring is disjointed and broken down. The transfer of biological information takes place continually in our bodies. This occurs in the sequential manner described by the central dogma to produce proteins when and where needed to sustain the activity we know as life.